Hey there, either. Hold on, Fire Familia. Welcome to another reaction. This time I'm going to react to The Legend of Vox Machina, Season 2, Episode 3, The Sunken Tomb. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Ooh, God. <laughs> Try a, they, they so don't hold back on the gruesomeness in this series. What is... Oh, offerings. Your offerings grow ever smaller. Oh my god, this is I love I love Lance's voice, but just this just hearing him makes me miss him. <laughs> I really, I really miss his voice, especially at me as a Destiny 2 player. Uh really miss his voice in uh the latest expansion. <laughs> also, Pike, why are you here? To follow. And once so I'm wondering, he said I forgot his name there, something duck duck. <laughs> um Badass boy here, uh, or main dragon here. So he sends them out, like underlings. He sends them out, out to take go after certain cities. So I wonder if that'll be their downfall. Is that they're sent out individually and they have to pick them off individually instead of taking them all on at once, take them down one at a time, kind of thing. Like how they did with the, uh, not Brimstone. Um, what was his name? Brimsythe? Brimsythe. Like how they did with Brimsythe, because Brimsythe was on his own, so they could take him down, whereas if uh, they're all together, definitely, I don't think they can. Entire realm shall quake in our shadow. Why his voice is so perfect for a dragon? It seems your useless bubbles are no longer needed. Might want to run. run. Yeah, run. even though it's no point, you're going to die anyway. Pike. Whoa. Oh, so it's just an apparition of her. I, I couldn't save them. Can't save everyone, unfortunately. I found the lake Osisa told us about over the next ravine. Fantastic. What's the bad news? Wait, the bad news? Yeah. It's guarded by a giant monster. <laughs> What's no frozen? Tomb. Oh. No temple, no ruins, no nothing. It's not an illusion. It's invis illusion either. Okay. I thought maybe it's invisible or something. Or is it underneath the ice? Did the Sphinx lie to us? It I, no, I don't think the Sphinx would lie to you. Must be I'll slide over and check it out. Literally, you're going to slide over? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I knew there'd be something underneath. <laughs> Even Percy laughs. I, I think uh, it's fine. I'm sure this ice is super thick. We just recharge the. I wouldn't be risking juice. it. Scan juice. Is that what he says to women? Hold up, gotta recharge the scan juice. Hold on, scanner. Yeah, I wouldn't support your way at all if it could barely support you guys. Keyleth, can you? I don't know. Be a bird or something. Up. I don't know, be a bird. I would say be a seal? Penguin? Something that could handle the cold water? That would be us. Oh, it's you guys. Yeah. At least Antlers here is happy to see me. Right. Antlers. <laughs> is is Vax gonna get freaking jealous? <laughs> it enshrines the body of her ancient champion. The highest of her order. Str it, it grogs freaking faces he's chewing. He's just like... <laughs> His cheeks are so inflated. Striking fear into the hearts of her enemies. His name was Pervon. <laughs> Pervon? Pervon? Last name. My god. Pedo bear, maybe? Oh no, not the pedo bear reference. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that, oh my god. I was thinking pedo bear, but I did not think that it actually would reference pedo bear. I have not heard any, I think any series reference it. But then again, a lot of shows. I've watched her more geared toward teenagers, children, so they definitely would not bring that up. Uh, so, makes sense this show would. Didn't we, Scanlan? Huh? I swear, if he picks up the cup and bowl next to him and is like, this is the items. You mean the shit we took from Gilmore's? Yes, oh. obviously. What's it do? Uh, hmm. Don't know yet. <laughs> oh my god, he has a beard. I mean, I could think of a lot of men that would want that. He sounds so happy. That's all. 
I got a beard. Okay. I'm not gonna lie though, Grog does look better with a beard. Hey. Which is rare. He actually looks like Kratos. What in the world? That's it's awesome. <laughs> this anyway, sparkle in his eye. You must be fairly annoyed that Osisa told us about it before you. The eye twitched. <laughs> that my mind. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> and we can't take any more chances tomorrow, sister. What if they just sabotage them? You've been saying that our whole life. I'll be fine. You're kind of focusing on it in this episode. What's going on? What's gonna happen? Get some sleep. What's it? Sunken tomb. So it's nothing in the tile really hinting anything, but uh, yeah. Oh, flashback. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, shoot. You are nothing but a mistake. That's enough. Ouch, you need Christmas. Hmm. Okay, well, we know their home gets burnt to a crisp. So what happens after they leave? I thought he was drawing a wiener, but never mind. Smiley face, fine. Now see if you can follow me. I feel like that's the one thing. If I was a guy and I had that, that'd be something I would do if I was in a snowy area. Like, not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> It'd be fun. It's like a portable pen. Osisa is older than time. She doesn't make mistakes. Perhaps the tomb. Is Watch. Uh, you know, I can just imagine the, her making a mistake, and then when they go to her, she's just like. I may be a magical being that's lived centuries, but I could still make a mistake. It's upside down. <laughs> Voila. Oh. It's underwater. Of right. course. So I suppose everyone... Are we gonna have some like underwater music from like video games like Sonic or something? Grab Where it goes doot 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 like in, in the speed increases. A bucket will have this emptied by springtime. Actually, we were thinking Earth Wind. What did you just say, Percy? Did you just say? Or did you just make it? So I suppose everyone grab a bucket and we'll have this emptied by springtime. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think the dragons would have conquered like this whole place by that point. Actually, we were thinking Earth Wind and Fire here could assist. Earth Wind and Fire, not the band reference. <laughs> oh me? Oh. <laughs> So I, I'm not great with water yet. Don't worry. Just use. I feel like is is Keila just really easy to fluster and stuff. Like you just compliment her and things or whatever, and she just gets flustered. Like tap it. Like like Vax. It's happened with him. Um, Vax like has complimented her and she like blushed and stuff. And then now um, this guy, Vas Vasage or whatever his name is, um, Vash. Uh, or something, uh, he compliments her and she also like gets blushy and stuff or flustered. So I think she's just really easily flustered. Wind. So I was, gonna, I was gonna say she falls for people easily, but never mind. Water tornado? Or water funnel? I forgot what they're called. Oh, poor fish. Part the Red Sea. It just runs into it. Tr uh, continuing the tradition of you guys not being good with doors, huh? Uh, Beardy. This one's a pull. Beardy! Oh. oh my god, they actually did a pull, not push kind of thing. <laughs> After you. That's great. And the thing is, I feel like that's relatable to so many of us. Like, at least it is for me. Because I've done that before, where I've... I think I've tried... I've tried pulling, I've, I think I've done the opposite, where I tried pulling a door that pushed. <laughs> it was for pushing. Ugh, smells like fish and I wonder death. why. Pretty. How are they gonna get out though? Like, how are they gonna open the door and part with the water? Those vestiges belong with the take, not some tourists. Yeah, but watch when it comes down to it, when they have to fight something, they'll be better at it than these two will be. Or are we letting them bear the brunt of what's to come? Uh-huh. The deadlier the traps, the richer the reward. <sighs> Just keep close. Do not touch it, Grog. I know it's tempting, but don't touch it. Hmm. Oh, no 
I want to trip on this. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be giving the same look. Found a trap. He looks at her like, are you sure about them? <laughs> Lucky I was here. <laughs> yeah, I am. Was. Lucky. I mean, I... Um... Smooth. Yep. Oh yeah, Vax is gonna get jealous. <clears throat> Idiot. <laughs> If it dropped, I, I was half expecting to drop like a giant bowl, like Indiana Jones style. No, no, no. Oh. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, would you look at that? The siblings that said they would never get separated have gotten separated. Oh, I guess we're stuck with her. Also, this is, the, I think this is the first time we've seen like Trinket actually with them on like a quest and stuff. Before Trinket was just hanging back. So I'm curious to see if Trinket will like be part of the fight and stuff, like what he'll do. All right, you two, I, I, do you have like separation anxiety? I know that you probably do considering what you've been through, but uh, yeah. Oh, more flashback. Maybe we should just go. Waters. Pike's so short. Why? Yeah. There you go. You don't have Pike. Um, that's fresh. Ugh, Grog, did you just fart? Like, how recently? How recently? <laughs> Drinking like I smells a little. <laughs> so these are, are these the mermaid things that went after uh, Scanlan before? <laughs> yeah, go trick it. Oh, you're dead now. Not the beard. <laughs> I grew back anyway, yeah, because as long as he's got that on. Grog looks way more badass with the Oh no. We gotta get that thing out away from Grog at some point. That was a close one, darling. Oh. <laughs> you two are gonna save each other. Likewise. Wasn't that close? <laughs> Milf. Uh oh, bro, your eyes are red. Grog? Oh dear. Trinket. I love how she freaks out over Trinket and not Grog. I'd be the same. Last boss is always the toughest. We went through the waves of enemies, now it's the boss. Oh, well, I think you both are gonna need saving. Vaxon them? Yep. Vexalia! Oh, shit! Scan the time! Oh, bye! Yeah, he fell off. I'm not gonna lie, I feel the same way. It's just like, oh, he fell off. What a tragedy. Bye bye. <laughs> I love the, like, surfer dude, like, guitar. Are you all getting. Oh, through the skull. Oh, that works. All yours, Trinket. <laughs> Trinket's like, ew, I don't eat fish. When you were fighting those things, you seemed. Pike, we need to press on. Bloodthirsty. There could be more of them. Wait, where are Cash and Zara? We can't leave without them. They went on ahead. No fucking way. Yes, Ridiculous. fucking way. We didn't have to do that. I beg to differ. Oh, so then he's the one that said they didn't have to do it. Sarkoff That's a useful ability. See, you're not the only one who can find shit. It could be tricking you though. You impressed? Cause you fucking should be. Yes, yes, you're very clever. 
They're not dead. Looks like some kind of fish orgy. Mm. I've tried that. It's pretty of course you have. Pretty good. <laughs> Ignore them. Oh, Pike, wait, Pike's face right there. Mm, I've tried that. It's pretty good. It's That's not a look of, like, gross, like, disgusted. That's a look of almost, like, jealousy. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, if you if you like someone and they say something like that, that's the, I, I, that's a look of jealousy. <laughs> I can relate with that. Let me give it a look first. She's going to get tired of his overprotectiveness for sure. Like, especially because she's not, like, the little sister, like, anymore. And, like, he was obviously probably the stronger one or more uh, skillful one when they were younger. But now it's kind of like they're even. Um, or... Maybe she's even a little bit better than him. So she's going to get tired of him being constantly like, I got this, stay back, uh, you know, freaking out over her and everything. Huh? Thank you. Fuck's sake. Keep your hands to yourself. Pickle, I'll need your light. Pickle, that's what he calls. Wait, is this the first time he's called her that nickname? Pickle? Oh my god. First she's sour, then she's sweet. The Sphinx? The second Sphinx. What have we here? Didn't, uh, Vax say not to touch anything? Don't. Uh, if there's one thing I learned from Indiana Jones movies and anything like that, it's just you don't touch stuff or put, move things. Or maybe you do. Oh, there's the coffin. I see. You found it. Well, shall we take a look? Or maybe wait for back. Maybe Vax? we shouldn't. Your brother certainly wouldn't approve. Then let's do it. Looks clean. From the outside, but what about the inside? Couldn't there be like trip trip wire stuff and whatever on the inside when you slide it? What's the lettering on the sides, like the engravings? Stop. Aha! Uh -huh. You need to wait for my brother. Yo. Oh, he's gonna lose it. Do not go far from me. I won't. I swear it. Yo. <laughs> oh, you don't end the episode like that. No. Stop. <laughs> Actually, I'm tearing up. That, that, that. that. <laughs> That's not fair! No! Of course, you show the scene of Scanlan and Grog pissing in the snow. <laughs> they, they gotta bring her back, right? It's the way they kill off a main character like that, right? Right? That's what happens when you trigger a trap. Also, freaking the fact that Percy's the one that didn't listen and just went and touched, like... And the fact that, like... I'm sorry, that is so weird to me that it, it the trap, when it's triggered, goes after the person farthest away from it, not the person that would be nearest to touch that to even trigger it. Like, that, that was so rigged. <laughs> Chirp. Chirp. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Man. Why? I don't like that. Dang it. I don't know what happens on the recording when I do this. Are you okay now, monitor? You good? You're not gonna freak out or anything? No, we okay? All right. Anyway, let me get into my thoughts. <laughs> Holy. All right. Okie dokie. Oh, that's not what I was expecting to happen there. You know, I thought, okay, they're gonna get separated or something, but as soon as the trap went off, 
and I was like, I I thought, I honestly thought the trap was going to end with like maybe a cave-in or something or whatever, or the creatures coming to life, but not whatever that was that just, I don't know what it did, it, it, it didn't stab or anything, it just literally, I don't know, it's like a dark magic or magic that went through her and just like blasted her soul away or something like that, I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's not how I expected that to end um, with that episode. Um, hopefully she can be brought back, cause yeah, I, I, I mean, I like all the characters, but like, like, I like the dynamic of Vax and Vax, and Vex overall, like, with most of the characters, uh, so, hopefully she's not actually fully dead, um, or not dead forever, <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, uh, overall thoughts for the episode, uh, it was, it was good, it was good, um, yeah, when those two, uh, the other two people showed up, I, I forget their names, but the guy with the golden, one golden eye, and then what's her name with the horn, and the, like, she almost reminds me of, like, a, like, a, like, a demon reptilian, like, succubus kind of, of, of creature, um, them, yeah, I, I had a feeling they were gonna backstab, not backstab, but, like, you know, they were not there to help them, they were there, or they were, I'm guessing they were, they were sent, or not, I'm guessing, but I'm pretty certain if I remember correctly that they did say that they were actually sent by the Phoenix, but that they just don't, they think the Phoenix is wrong on its choices of the of Vox Machina, so they're like, you know what, we're just gonna s swipe it from them. And then it's just like, yeah, okay. I, I, so it wasn't that they were lying on them being sent there by the Phoenix, it's just that they don't believe in the Phoenix's judgment, and the, which is interesting. Um, because they, I want to think, the Phoenix would be wrong, so it's like the fact that they go against her. I wonder if they're gonna get punished for that <laughs> if, if they don't die. Um, but yeah, uh, plot was great for this episode, characters are great, animation was great, music, um, I would say great as usual, like not as much of the core stuff as I, you know, love as usual, but uh, or that I usually love, um, but that's fine. Like, I can't, I don't expect big epic orchestral oh, kind of music all the time, or did some play when the dragons had their scene in this episode i don't think it did maybe it did but it wasn't memorable <laughs> but the music in general is usually is like good for the show uh but anyway yeah um those are my thoughts i hope you enjoy this reaction have a wonderful morning afternoon and keep bright bright see ya